Hey guys, Jonah here, back for another beer review. And this time it really is a beer from the Northern Monk uh, selection box by Beer 52. Um, but unfortunately, they haven't got an article on this particular collaboration, which is a shame because I quite like this uh, brewery. It is, of course, Hike the Pike. Um, and this is a collaboration between Northern Monk and Rivington over in Bolton. <laughs> Nothing says North like Bolton. Uh, and it's a hazy IPA at 7%. And I guess this fucker must be the Rivington Tower. That's where all the riving goes on. Uh, and Rivington Brewery. Uh, oops. There we go. Come on. Focus on Rivington mofo. Uh, Rivington Brewery is opposite the Pike, the Rivington Pike. There's a lake in the way, which is called Rivington Lake, I believe, or Rivington Reservoir or whatever. Um, but there we go. It says, up the Rivington Pike we go for a hazy walk. Hit the top, feel the breeze, the crack, and a cold one. Feel, feel the crack? No, crack a cold one. I was thinking they're going up a pike and cracking one off uh seven percent it is doo, doo, doo. obviously uh leeds and bolton mashup but that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for we got oats we got wheat and all that other good stuff um but rivington is a really good brewery uh, i'm liking that don't know why but um yeah there's a lot of good stuff coming out of uh bolton bolton Oh, the other thing I was going to say is in this magazine, they have taken some stuff out, but they've added a tour in there of Leeds, um, which for drinks, I believe started, well, for me anyway, started Leeds in the 1990s, uh, coming from the Leeds um, University, basically, in the student union and all that kind of stuff. Oh, where Joe Wiley used to go and drink when she was young and worth shafting. Not that she isn't now. Well, she's old and probably uh, Fanny's like a canoe. Anyway, enough about Jo Wiley because she's a has-been in my book. Um, but yeah, she used to go around all the unions and suck, you know, nosh people's cocks and all that stuff before she got into radio. What am I talking about Joe Wiley for? I should be talking about this beer. Hike the Pike. Anyway, this is a proper, I say proper IPA. Um, it is a hazy IPA at 7%. So, very, very similar, I believe. Oh, he says knocking the tripod. And that's not a euphemism, dear viewer, knocking the tripod. Although, uh, when it's windy, I, I lean forward and yeah, I never fall over. I'm, not like, I'm, I'm like a weeble. They wobble, but they don't fall down. Um, yes, very similar, I was going to say. This is a Citra and Mosaic, but I believe it also has some Columbus in there. Uh, and this was rated as the beer of the box by Beer 52's own reviewer man, who doesn't review all the beers, which I think is a bit of a disgrace. Fingers, lovely white head. Looks very similar, actually. Nice and cloudy. Um, but Northern Monk do do a lot of those hazy beers. So there we go. Hike the pike. There's a glass. There's my cheeky grin. And a wink. Mm. So everything else about this beer is the same. That is why, dear viewer, I decided to have this one next. Oh, and by the way, wearing my watch again color coordinated with the old t-shirt today the things i do for you dear viewer um so yeah seven percent abv it's a hazy uh ipa essentially uh it's got citra it's got mosaic comet swap for columbus i'm talking about the horde that we had yesterday um so this i think is going to be a very very similar beer columbus obviously slightly different from comet but, dear viewer, we shall see what we get. If you haven't done so already, click subscribe. At least click like to the video. I'm going through loads and loads of these things. People don't click like. So 
Does that mean you're watching it and you're not liking? If you like it, click like, why not? Lots more fruitiness. Lots more kind of juicy pineapple, hint of mango perhaps, that kind of stuff. Not detecting so much grass, so much dankness on the nose. So perhaps that, dear viewer, is a good sign. And I'm not doing a 440. This is only a 330 can. Hey, you can't have everything, can you? Cheers and beers. Enjoy your weekend. Hopefully it's going well for you. And uh, yeah, let's see what we get from this beer. Okay. There is a little bit of greenness. There is a bit of dankness there, but nowhere like the last few beers. Um, there's also a lovely creaminess. So they probably put quite a bit of oats and wheat in there. Um, oh, yeah, that lovely creamy tropical thing going on. Um, like a can of lilt. Um, taste the tropical or whatever it is. Mmm, that is actually quite nice. Uh, the creaminess does come through, so I believe that's kind of the oats over the wheat as well. The wheat gives a little bit, but oats is definitely the one that gives the creaminess. Uh, so this is much more kind of new style um, than the hoard that we had yesterday. Ooh, quite a good amount of carbonation there, dear viewer. And I'm not getting that berry taste. So I'm thinking perhaps that berry from yesterday was the Comet hops. The Columbus hops. Now this is, Columbus is quite an old school hop uh, from the West Coast. West Coast. Um, but yeah, it's not coming through as much as the mosaic is. Um, which is really fruity in this one. So uh, perhaps, is there Columbus in there? Is there not? Don't know. Dunno, mate, dunno. And even the hop watchers, sorry, the head watchers will be happy. The foam watch. <laughs> I've called it so many bloody things. Is it foam? Is it head? Dunno. Yeah, a little bit of grapefruit there, um, but it's kind of up front. So you've got the grapefruit and the grass kind of fighting. Then it goes really nice and creamy. And then that cream kind of gives way to some more of those tropical things like the pineapple. Mm, touch of mango in there too. But very creamy. This is not one of those juicy beers. This is much more a creamy beer, which I think is quite nice. I am still picking up a tiny bit of that dankness. Is there some weird dankness to citra hops these days that's just coming through in the beer? Or is it my palate has totally got destroyed by all the beers that I've been drinking lately? And all I can taste is sort of weird dankness. I don't know, maybe I've got a bit of truffle or mushroom stuck in my teeth. Um, and it's it's tasting, um, but yeah, no way so much in this one. This is even though it's a seven percent beer, seven percent IPA, which is bang on target. This is what an IPA should be, not three percent or some piss. Um, and knowing my bladder and all the abuse I've given it, um. Yeah, what comes out the other end is probably stronger than 3% anyway. Um, let's finish this one off and you guys can get on the way. Coming up to 10 minutes, we're not quite there yet, but yeah. It won't go much beyond that, but this is a really nice bit. Oh. So the last taste, interestingly, I've been tasting a little bit of dankness all the way through. 
The last sip had hardly any, and it had a little bit more juice too. There we go. We have a nice tide lines there. Anything to be said about foam watch? Oh, there's something around the back here. Um, nope. Just some sort of, oh, what's that thing? Looks like a kind of white horse on the side of a hill, that piece of foam. Um, and there's a, a little sort of weird deconstructed white horse underneath. Interesting. Anyway, dear viewer, that, I actually prefer this one to the, the hoard that I got yesterday. So this is Hike the Pike, Hazy IPA, Northern Monk, in collaboration with Rivington from Bolton. Um, yeah, this, if you can get hold of it, this is a really good beer. I'm liking this one. Cheers and beers, dear viewer. Uncle John will return. Are we going to be drinking some more beers? Real soon.